What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you guys are new here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my empty apartment tour. I'm really excited to show you guys my new little suite. It's super small, so it might be actually pretty quick. I might add this clip into another video with like packing and stuff, just getting ready to move. We're just heading there now, my mom's just driving. And yeah, so I will see you guys once we get there. Really quickly here, I do want to talk about today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Built Bar. I absolutely love their original protein bars, which are these ones right here. So all their bars are pretty low in calories and high in protein. This bar right here is their peanut butter brownie and it's 180 calories and 19 grams of protein, which is pretty high. You know, it's so small and you get a lot of protein in it. They have all natural flavors and then also their gluten-free and no preservatives. I think these are perfect for on the go and as well as like a late night snack when you're craving like a chocolate bar. Like I said, this is the peanut butter brownie, which is, to be honest, my favorite flavor out of all of them. I also really like the almond coconut flavor and then their original coconut flavor. I'm just like a huge fan of chocolate and coconut mixed together. They also have like a mint flavor. They have a cookies and cream, which I haven't tried, but I really want to try that one. And then they have like a, I think a cheesecake one. Also want to try that one. And then they have like a raspberry chocolate. They have just like a variety of flavors. So definitely check them out. I will have everything listed down below. And then I do have a discount code with them, which I'll have right here on the screen. But anyways, let's just get into this empty apartment tour. So when you first enter, that is my door. You just turn to the right and I have this closet here for storage. It's a nice spacious closet actually. I'll be able to put a shoe rack right there and then all my coats and stuff here. I can also put some storage up there. And then there's my laundry area here. So it's just on the other side of that closet. And then I was thinking to put some of my storage up here for like cleaning supplies as well as my laundry detergent and all that stuff. So I'll have that all up there. So I think I forgot to mention how big this little one bedroom apartment is. It is 500 square feet, so it's quite small. I think it's even under 500. It's probably like 490 something. So you guys will see throughout the space here that I have some areas where I can definitely use some storage. But from the closet here, we're entering my kitchen. I think it's a perfect amount of space for one person, but I do want to get an island, which I'll show you guys where I want to put that. I love the white counter space. I also really like how light the wood is. I think it looks very bright in here, which I really like. Just really pretty. Like I said, I wanted to put an island here and then have some storage maybe on this side. That way I can have some more counter space for cooking. And then on this side, I was thinking to have like some bar stools so I'm able to sit at like a table or something because honestly you guys there's no room for a table in my space and then right beside my kitchen is my little living space. So I'll just give you guys a quick little overview. So it's quite small. I think right along this wall, I'm gonna have a two-seater couch. And then I have these really big windows. So I'm thinking to get like a curtain rod here and then get some nice long white curtains there just to give it like kind of a homier feel. And then on this wall here, it has kind of an indentation just on the wall there. So I'm not sure if I can put a nice big structure there, but that's kind of what I was thinking. So we'll just have to see. And then moving along from my living room is my bedroom. I'll show you guys what my bedroom looks like. I also have those top to bottom windows here, which I think I'm gonna put some nice white curtains there as well. And then beside the door here is my closet, um, which is a decent size. It's not too small, but it's definitely way smaller than the closet I have now. So I'm thinking to for sure downsize on clothing and stuff. I'm gonna be decluttering a lot of things. So I think it's a perfect amount of space for one person. So I'm thinking to put some bins up here for storage and then hanging a bunch of my clothes. But yeah, and then I'm gonna have like a shoe rack down here. I'm actually thinking to have my TV in my bedroom. It's such a small place that I can't really have like, you know, a whole living space. So I figured I'm just gonna keep that as like a space where we can hang out and like actually socialize and stuff. And then I'm thinking of getting a bed with storage so that I can actually have clothing underneath because I currently have a dresser and my dresser for sure won't fit in here. And then right beside it is my bathroom. So this is my bathroom. So what I love about this bathroom is it's all white. The counters are white, the drawers. So I love how bright it is. Even the tiles are like a very, very light gray. 
I have this little hanger for my washcloth and then I have this big mirror here. So in here it comes with storage and then in here is actually pretty small and it just has that drawer there. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna store everything. I also have this little area here that I can store some stuff in. So I think I'm gonna put a storage unit along the wall here and then have some extra space for products. I actually really like the shower, the way it looks. It's a cute little shower head and then um, a nice big tub. And then just on the wall here, you have another little rack for your towels and everything is white in this washroom so it doesn't look orange. So that's really nice. And then lastly is my last closet of space. I think I'm gonna get a rack over here because I don't have any area for my linen. So I'm definitely gonna put like a rack here and have my towels nicely folded there. This closet is pretty small. It's probably the smallest closet in this place. And then we're back at my kitchen area. So that's my small little suite. They actually gave everyone a cute little move-in gift. I can't really show you guys what's in there because there's some labels of the place that I live at. So. What's up you guys? I'm just about to head to Canadian Tire because I'm about to purchase a kitchen island. I've been kind of looking for secondhand ones on Marketplace on Facebook, but I haven't found any that are like decent quality and then kind of the aesthetic that I want. This one's pretty close to the aesthetic, but it's not gonna fully match. So I might think about painting it. I'll show you guys what it looks like anyways. Right now I'm wearing my Navigation solid black leggings and then I'm wearing this cropped activewear zip up from forever 21 and then this puffer jacket is from princess Polly which I'm literally obsessed with I just filmed a try on haul with them so I'll have it linked up here or down below if you guys are interested but it's so cute so comfortable this I like how online it tells you the aisle that the product is in oh that was so quick think this is it it's right here that's actually perfect. And it's on sale right now, so you save $130. There's also these ones, so there's a smaller version, and then there's that one. And there's also this, but I don't think I like it because it looks too bulky and too kind of like farmhouse. Okay, I got the kitchen island in here. I had to take it out of the box so that I could fit in my car. There, so I'm gonna put you guys as a time lapse and then you guys can watch me put it together. kitchen island i'm obsessed i think it looks so good it just totally elevates the whole kitchen obviously you guys can see it is a little bit of a different brown than the kitchen so i'm kind of debating if i want to paint it white or i want to see if i can stain the wood but i'm not 100 percent sure here's another angle oh my gosh i think it looks so good though you guys so this one you can actually close those posts there and then make it more of like just a separate island and no little breakfast nook which i think is perfect because i'm in a very small apartment so this is like perfect for me but to be honest i probably have that open at all times and then have my chairs just sticking under there just because i love the look of it but yeah this is the new kitchen island so it was on sale and i think it was a perfect little purchase but yeah you guys let me know if i should paint it all white i'm like debating if i should because i don't want to ruin it Okay, it honestly looks like a disaster here. So I have a lot of stuff here. I'm just gonna take things that match because I don't even know how we get like mixed match cutlery, how that even happens. I'm like 
trying to do this quickly because I don't even want to spend a lot of time packing and stuff, but I put a lot of like random stuff in here, you know, like all my saran wraps, tin foil, Ziploc bags, and then I have like these shakers, these mittens. If I don't take it, no one else is gonna use it, so I might as well just take it with me to my new place. And then I have all this stuff that I'm actually just gonna carry into my new place. So I'm gonna have this on the seat and drive there. It's like my plates, and then I'm also gonna bring my wine glasses. I don't think I'm gonna pack them because I don't have the proper packing stuff for it, so I might as well just drive it over. I just put some of my spices in this little box here. In this box, I actually have like a bunch of random things. In here, I have some appliances, which I'm gonna put my waffle maker and my kettle in here as well. So this is gonna be full pretty soon. I think you guys saw this in my last video. These are like my takeout boxes and stuff, and then like my mixing bowls. I have my Keurig there, my rice cooker, some packed food, which I keep going through, so. And then that's all my blessed protein products. So I have that. I've been selling a few things on Marketplace and then having to like communicate when to come pick things up has been like, you know, back and forth. Like there's a few things I'm trying to sell before I even move so that I don't have to take it to my new place. So I'm just trying to get all that sorted. Still debating if I want to sell my gym equipment because I just got them, but I know I'm not gonna be using them because I have a gym where I live. So, but it's just, I don't know. I hate selling things and then like, getting less for what I paid. It's just like the cheap person in me. But um, yeah, I actually think I'm gonna meet up with Chelsea tomorrow morning and we're probably gonna go to like Ikea. Oh, and then I have some people picking up these furniture pieces tomorrow. So I also have to make sure I'm back for that. So I definitely need to start going through my clothes and my room because I haven't even started my room. I've been really like just not trying to start my room. I don't know why I'm just like, <laughs> I just am like procrastinating doing my room because it's so overwhelming. I have so much stuff that I know I need to get rid of. I have like a hard time letting things go. It's like the hoarder in me, you know, I wanna keep everything, but I know I'm not gonna use it, so. Right now I'm driving, which don't drive and film yourself. People don't do what I'm doing. But um, I'm just on my way to Chelsea's right now. I have my plates and my glasses in the back seat. So I'm trying to drive super cautious right now. I'm going to pick her up and then I just want to quickly drop my face and stuff off because I'll have her help to bring them up. We're going to probably go to Ikea and just look around. I haven't taken any Instagram photos in so long and you know, I'm kind of feeling myself today. It's just a cute little lounge fit. I'm literally obsessed with this jacket, you guys. Um, it's from Princess Polly. I think I already mentioned where it's from at the beginning of the video because I was wearing it. I've been wearing it like every day. Throughout this whole video, I've probably been wearing this jacket or my last video. Love you guys should check out my try on haul from Princess Polly. So I will see you guys once I get to Chelsea. Look at the brown I'm fit a, and then the brown I'm fit. I'm a teddy bear. Cute, Here's we might me. have to do like a little Ikea moment. Oh yeah. Okay, so we just got here. Look it, and we're like matching unexpectedly today. Oh, this one. Okay, so this in white. This is the couch. Um, I don't think, maybe they're out of stock here. Even this couch is really pretty. This is kind of cute, right? Yeah. I like the bottom. I like it. Okay, so I'm thinking of this storage unit right here for beside the bathroom and then putting my towels and stuff in there. I might do that because it's only 12 bucks. So Let's see if I can grab that. And then if I don't need it, I'll take it back. So Chelsea just saw these ones. Yeah. I don't know if they go with the aesthetic though. I like them. I don't know if um, I like this part. Though. Yeah, that's the part I don't like. I don't really like the silver. Yeah. So this is a storage unit for $25. I think this would be good for the closet um, near the front door. It's not too high. It looks pretty good. It can store some stuff on there. But I definitely want to utilize a bunch of storage areas. I'm thinking to get a bunch of these st white storage boxes because you can hide a bunch of things in them and they look nice and sleek. These are the ones I think I wanted to get. No. Wait, it's not this one. Yeah. It's This is too high. I think it's this one, but white. It's not bad. But that's the height yeah, I, that I, I need. Yeah, I pause a hole on the bar stool. <laughs> She's a financial advisor, and if she doesn't agree, then it's a I'm no not go. sitting on those. <laughs> Take photos of everything nice that you see before you buy it, and then you can actually see how it's gonna look in your place before you get it. Okay, but hold on. Girl, this lighting. She's on. like, wait. Uh, wait. <gasps> yes. Right beside it, girl. This is exactly what I want, because I was like, okay, I don't want another mirror. 
Okay, so this is the bed frame that I want to get because I'm not gonna have room for a dresser So I feel like this would be perfect storage for me. That's what I'm envisioning you guys I wanted to get it as a double but it only comes as a queen. So we're gonna grab some food Y'all this is the food we got I just got in my place. I feel so oily. The mask like totally made my skin look very oily. So I feel like I need to powder my face. So at Ikea, I bought these glasses here. They're just super tall and chic. I like the way that they look. So me and Chelsea were thinking we could hang these up, these little poles and then have my spatulas. But now that I'm here, I'm realizing it is a tile. I thought it was a plain wall. I won't be able to stick anything on there, so I'm gonna take those back. I also got a pack of loofahs here. I'm gonna keep these in the bathroom. So this is one of the big things that I got. A little storage container, which I think I'm gonna put in this closet here, so we will see. I might just build this real quick before I leave. Okay, so I put that in this closet. I think it'll look good right here because honestly, it doesn't look that good in the linen closet, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm about to watch some Grey's Anatomy, take off my makeup, get in some comfy clothes and just finish the night. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna end today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you do wanna see any more videos from me, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.